What is hemp? Hemp stands for High Altitude Electromagnetic Pulse. And it's actually a nuclear detonation happening high above the Earth's surface. The detonation creates a powerful electromagnetic field and that can usually be divided into three different parts. Why do we need hemp protection? The first part is mostly severe to microprocessor-based electronics and can cause unrepairable damage. The second part is very similar to lightning strikes and ordinary lightning strike protection devices can usually handle this and be a very efficient protection. The third part is caused by a temporary distortion in the Earth's magnetic field. This distortion induces current in long conductors, such as communication networks or power distribution networks. It will actually cause uh, a malfunction in power distribution transformers and will cause blackouts. Due to the height of the detonation, a very large area is covered. One detonation can actually disturb a whole country. How can an electromagnetic barrier or shield encasing system provide protection? The electromagnetic shield creates a barrier where the electromagnetic pulse have a very hard time to penetrate. The shield creates a space where sensitive electronics can be protected. When designing a shielded enclosure, it's very important to, to consider all details, such as openings and ventilations. What about the cable and pipe entry points? In most applications, the sensitive electronics require external electric power and means of communication. That means that you have to route cables and pipes through the barrier. Then you create a disruption in the barrier, which can have a huge impact on the overall performance. So the routing requires extraordinary attention. The Rockstack ES system is designed to protect against several different threats. As an electromagnetic protection, it consists of two different components. The first component is a highly conductive path for the induced current in the cable shield. And then we also have an electromagnetic barrier inside the module to protect against the radiated disturbances. Could you show us how you perform an advanced shielding test? To verify the performance of a shielded system, we here have a cutout of a shielded enclosure. We have installed shielded cables and a Rockstack ES transit. To verify the hemp protection, we usually measure shielding effectiveness. What we do is that we set up one transmitting antenna on one side of the transit. Then we send out a known signal level. On the other side of the transit, we put a receiving antenna. And then we measure the difference between the transmitted signal level and the received signal level. Then we can determine the shielding effectiveness and also the hemp protection level. Why is it important to be able to test and measure on your own? To design the systems for the future, it's very important to be able to measure the shielding performance. Here at Rockstack, we can measure from 10 kHz all the way up to 20 GHz. In a normal working day, we use this RF network analyzer. It's the perfect instrument in our laboratory and can perform several thousands of measurements in just a couple of seconds. What is the goal of Rockstex R&D within hemp protection? We have one of the best systems on the market today, but we're still striving to make it even better. We want to improve the shielding performance, make it more robust and more installation friendly.